Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? Alrighty, so if you're on console and trying to avoid sacrifice spoilers, then maybe stop watching this video because some of the stuff I'm going to be showing off on it, you get as a reward from the sacrifice update. So come back to it once you guys hopefully get that update, which I believe is going to start on this Friday. Now, with the introduction of the sacrifice update, a lot of players are looking at the Umbral mods and wondering how they would fit or how they would look on their favorite warframes like Chroma, like Inros, Nidus, Frost, Rhino, even Hydroid. I'm only kidding, no one likes Hydroid. And with the Umbral mods, you can fit all of them on one build. It's just that it becomes costly and leaves you with no real room for any kind of an alternate setup because even the Exilus slot will more than likely have to be polarized. So they become a former costly build. But some of you did ask on my Chroma video, how good of a setup could you possibly get on a Warframe like our Forest Guardian, Hoofboy himself, Oberon or Oberon Prime? Probably one of the most well-balanced Warframes in the game right now, since his previous rework, he is incredibly good. So I went and I built a second Oberon Prime. I had all of the parts and figured it would be a lot easier than messing up my current four-formed Broberon build. And the really awesome thing is that with just two former on this new Oberon Prime, I have an insanely good build with all of the Umbral mods. Oberon Prime comes already with four polarities, so you just stick two new ones on him. One, of course, will be on that Exilus slot. So this is the build that I have on this new Oberon Prime with all of those Umbral mods. Now, you could switch out Augur Message for maybe a flow, but I think it would have to be one from the top. Or switch any of the other mods out that you want to, but you may need to reform that Oberon Prime in order to fit them in. This is my build. Build your own, okay? And I mean, look at those health values. Fucking Leet Hoofs himself, 1,337 health. Kind of feels like they've done that on purpose. 650 armor, over 200 power strength, 145 range for a decent amount of fuzzy carpet coverage from Hallowed Ground, and of course, for his healing as well to get squad mates. So I have just under 40 seconds of a timeline on my Hallowed Ground because of that 180% duration. So my Umbral Oberon, or my Umbron, trademark potato will have a high health pool rage for constant energy regen 650 armor but when you cast renew on top of your hallowed ground it will give you another 410 armor buff on top of that from iron renewal and if you choose to go with arcane guardian that's another chance for an extra 600 armor as well which will make you an incredibly tanky Warframe and it means that you can have up on 1600 armor active at any given time on a Warframe that will be healing himself for 82 health a second just from his renew ability alone because of that power strength. That's not counting health from Mediray on your Sentinel or Arcane Grace or Life Strike or Magus Elevate on your Tenno or any other form of healing that you can be getting in game. And because your Warframe's duration is nearly 180% and the efficiency is still at 100, it means that you have a really decent energy drain on that Renew ability that's not going to see you run out of energy anytime quickly which isn't going to happen anywhere because rage will keep you topped up on energy all of the time and if you do find yourself low on energy then just let enemies beat the absolute crap out of you for three or four seconds and boom you're good to go so if you really wanted to be an invincible wooden hoof guardian you could run in a squad with similar oberon builds because all of these armor and healing buffs stack on top of one another so you can have like a full squad of oberons running around unable to be killed because of all of that health regen because of all of that insane amount of armor values as well and i don't actually know what you call a squad of oberons like what would you call four oberons would you call them a herd a gang a heaf of hoof boys i mean i don't know maybe you can think of something different but let me know what you think of the Umbral mods on Oberon. Do you think they're a perfect fit or not? I think they fit much better on Oberon than they did on my Chroma. But like I said, let me know in the comment section below. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe. And as always, thanks very much for watching.